Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the WoW 17th anniversary event which is running from the 15th of November to the 6th of December. So we have about a month of this event and it's pretty exciting this year. They've got some great additions and we're going to talk about those in this video but before we jump into all of that guys just want to shout out my Twitch twitch.tv slash gym. If you want to see me streaming Season of Mastery uh, 9.2 PTR all of that good stuff guys I'm over on twitch.tv slash gym every single day. Right so yes the WoW anniversary anniversary event is running right now uh, as I said from November 15th to December 6th and it's one of my favorite events actually when they do add new stuff obviously over the years uh, they've added additions like Kazakh and the Dragons of Nightmares and things like that and made it kind of a really big celebration that is really fun to play uh, now this year's is the 17th anniversary and they have added uh, actually something pretty huge they've actually added a world boss and some stuff to the vendor and in this video we're going to talk about that world boss what are the rewards what are you going to potentially getting and and why are you going to be logging back into the game uh, to get it? Now, the world boss is Doom Walker. Yes, Doom Walker has returned in the WoW 17th anniversary. Now, this was actually data mined last year, but didn't actually spawn. Uh, maybe there was an issue with it or something like that. But this year, it looks like we are getting Doom Walker as a world boss in Tanaris of all places, not over in Outland. So yeah, you will be killing Doom Walker uh, this event. Now, what does Doom Walker drop? Now, Doom Walker drops his loot table, essentially he drops his loot table that he had back in Burn Crusade with some additions, uh, but a leveled up version. Now, you could kill this boss from level 30 and you will get level appropriate gear all the way up to level 60. And the level 60 gear is 220, but the blue post does say 226. So I don't know if there's an issue there. Um, but yeah, 220 was what dropped for me. However, the blue post does say 226. So maybe that's going to be fixed. Uh, right now, it's obviously the first day of the event. So we don't know whether or not this is locked out daily or weekly. My assumption is weekly. But obviously you do get about a month or so of this event. But yeah, we'll have to see guys. Let me know in the comments if this is a daily or weekly reset. Unfortunately, this is the first day, as I said, so we don't really know uh, all the information there. However, However, as I said, the loot table is exactly the same, but there are some additions. Now, some of these additions are there just to kind of level out the loot table. Uh, so there's a new male belt called the Dark Crest Waist Guard, and there is a new pair of leather shoulders called the Hell Stitch Mantle. And there is also some plate feet called the Void Forge Greaves. Now, these are not new appearances. However, they are new items. So if you want to go and collect those, they're going to be on the loot table. Now, there are extra additions to the loot table, which are pretty damn awesome. Now, the first one is a Karma's Edge. This is a one-handed axe that is the weapon that Akama uses and it's the weapon that Akama used back in Burning Crusade which has never been a transmog item until now so this is a brand new appearance which is on the Doomwalker loot table so if you can wield a one-handed axe go and kill Doomwalker for a chance at Akama's Edge. Now another thing that's on the loot table that is extremely exciting is of course a brand new mount called the Illidari Doomhawk. Now this is a black version of the Dragonhawk from Burning Crusade. This is a model which has obviously been in the game for years but has never been available as a mount so this is a brand new mount which is going to be available from Doomwalker. It looks like it's a pretty low drop rate unfortunately so this is going to be another Headless Horseman situation it looks like. I would imagine Doomwalker is coming back in future years but again this is you know the 17th anniversary and the first time you're going to be trying to get this mount the illidari doomhawk is on the loot table there and i believe it's lootable from anyone from level 30 onwards it looks like so yeah get all of those characters dust them off even the characters with arrows still in their bag go and dust them off and get them over to Tanaris to try kill Doomwalker. Uh, the final addition to the loot table is actually a toy called Doomwalker's Trophy Stand. Uh, this actually did drop for me, which is really cool. And essentially it's a new toy that you can just kind of spawn a little trophy stand with Doomwalker's head on to show that you killed Doomwalker and you got the toy. So that's really cool. There is also a brand new quest which is attached to Doomwalker called Doomwalking Has Come Knocking. Uh, this is just a simple quest. You don't need to have it to kill Doomwalker. And this will reward you 150 time walking badges just to kill Doomwalker. I assume that would reset weekly as well. That's something that we need to check. Now, yeah, Doomwalker is the big part of this event. Now, there is also another addition to this event, and that is a brand new pet. Now, this is available in the Caverns of Time from historian Maddie, and this is the Timeless Mechanical Dragonling, uh, which will match your store mount. You know, the, the six-month one that came out a while back? Yeah, this is a really cool little Whelpling pet. Really happy to see it as a 
item for the anniversary and not on the store. So 200 time walking badges will set you back on that one and that is just available from the vendor as of today until the 6th of December. So yeah, that is all of the additions in this year's event. Obviously the old stuff is still there so you can get, still go kill the Dragons and Nobles, you can still go kill Kazakh, you can still get all those fun items and do all the fun things which are down in the Caverns of Time. The XP and reputation buff has been increased to 17% so make sure you check your mail and grab that. That will be active throughout the entire time of the event so super big help there if you are trying to grind out some of those reps or level up some of those characters. Essentially Doomwalker is here, he has a new mount, a new toy and some new transmog. So guys go and kill Doomwalker. Let me know down below if this guide helped you, let me know if you did get any of these items or if you have any more information to share on this event. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming the Season of Mastery, which is launching extremely soon. And of course, the 9.2 PTR, among other things. I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.